Hey everyone, today I've got something a little bit different from my usual videos. This is a DIY watchmaking kit from DIY Watch Club. The model I have here is the Moselle with a blue sunburst dial and a black leather strap. First, I want to say that this video is only going to go over the process of assembling the watch and how I like the overall kit and not the watch itself. Next week, I'll be posting a separate video with a much more in-depth review of the watch itself and what my thoughts are on that. Be sure to subscribe to the channel so you can see that when that comes out. But now, onto the review. All in all, I think this is a really cool and unique offering since it's a very gentle introduction into the world of watchmaking and you're also able to feel a little bit more connected to your watch since it was hand built by you. Included in this kit are all the components of the watch itself and also every possible tool you can need to build it. On their website, they do have options to just purchase extra items individually like watch hands, straps, or dials that aren't offered as part of any kit if you really want to make your watch customized to you. This entire process will take about two hours from start to finish and at the end of it, you'll end up with a pretty nice looking watch as well as some knowledge as to how watches are actually made. All of the instructions are in the form of quick little videos and are broken down into three sections. Installing the dial and movement, applying the hands, and case installation. Each video is super clear and very easy to follow. I'll be covering each step as I go, and be sure to stick around to the end of the video to hear my final thoughts of this kit. First off, we have to remove the case back from the case itself. To do that, we use the case opening tool by lining up the pins with the notches on the screw down case back and unscrewing it. Then we're going to remove the crown from the case and also take out the plastic movement holding ring. Now we're going to remove the temporary crown from the movement and put in the actual crown that we just took out of the case.
Now onto the dial. There are two small pegs on the back of the dial that are going to line up with some holes in the movement. All we have to do is lay the dial on top and push it down into place. That's actually easier said than done, and my dial actually came with a bent peg, so I had to realign it to make it fit properly. Next, we move on to applying the hands. We're actually given two sets of hands in case they get damaged during assembly. All we have to do is pick it up with a sticky putty and use the provided tool to push it down into place. In the kit, we're also given a small plastic card with some marks on it to make sure that the hands are set properly. The left side shows the proper height for the hour hand, and the right side shows the proper height for the minute hand. Finally, we're going to put the movement into the case. First, we have to remove the crown from the movement once again. Then we're going to line up the notch on the inside of the case with the notch sticking out of the movement ring and put them together. Then, once we add back the crown and screw down the case back, the watch is fully assembled.
Now that the watch is fully assembled, we just need to add on the straps and we are done. Luckily, the included straps are quick release, meaning we don't have to use any tools to apply or remove them. All we have to do is slide the little pin back and release it when the strap is in place. Overall, I think this would be a great purchase for someone if they enjoy watches, like to tinker, or just want a fun little project that they can complete in a day. Obviously, if we look at specs alone, this watch is not that fancy and you could easily find other watches with the same movement and quality for a much lower price. But I'd say the experience of being able to assemble it yourself is worth it if you're willing to spend a little bit extra and actually like the look of the watch. Anyways, that's my review of the kit as a whole. Don't forget to subscribe to see my review of the actual watch when that comes out, and thanks for watching.